please note that this is not a kid friendly channel. This channel is for adult collectors, for anime figures, collectibles and various other anime items. Greetings and salutations to you, my beautiful nerdy people. It is I, Rachidus. How's it going? I have a lovely box for you today from the wonderful people of Gacha Gacha Crate. I have literally just got this in the post as I got back today. So, very excited to look um, to see what's in the box. So, uh, if you've not watched these videos before of my reviews on this, it's basically a, a monthly crate. Uh, I think it's about £20 a month, and you get up to six or seven capsules, depending how generous they're feeling. Um, and you get various things like puzzles, uh, keychains, anime figures, and various other little everyday items. So it's an interesting crate, uh, so I highly recommend it. I also collect uh, the uh, capsule crate, which is by uh, Nihon Box. So another great capsule crate. So I think I'm on my fourth box now. And you guys seem to be liking these videos, so I'm going to stick with them for a little bit and see how they carry on. So I have not looked in this. I can't remember what's in this month's Gacha Gacha. Hopefully some Pokemon. Hopefully some Demon Slayer. Something good. My Hero Academia or Dragon Ball. I don't care. So let us get this box open. I've literally just sliced it open ready so I can open it up for you. And here we have the pamphleto, what you get to say what's in it or what it is. So if there's anything you're really confused about, like that really odd wood puzzle we had in the last box, uh, then it'll explain what it is and what series it's from. So this is obviously the March box, so I'm just going to pop that there if I need it for later. And here is what the box will look like inside. So it comes with this lovely orange like Easter paper. So I'm going to keep a lot of this like for parcel packing and stuff because it comes in very, very handy. And they're all relatively big capsules this month. And one appears to have come open, but um, hopefully it won't be damaged or anything. So I'm going to pick out random because they're all the same size. Usually I start from smallest to biggest. So let's start from this corner after I can get all this paper off so here's our first capsule it's yellow and i'm not sure if it's from an anime but it looks like some sort of building or something inside so i've got my handy dandy squishers ready to cut it open some of these are really hard to get open because obviously they've got to be quite tight so they don't fall apart oh it's pokemon <laughs> okay so it looks like a pokemon slot machine ah okay i think i know where they're going so here's the pamphlet of what we could get. It's not very clear that it's Pokemon. There's the uh, logo at the very top there from the latest series. Uh, so yeah, it's all various Pokemon machines. So we have a Pikachu one, Meowth, you can't see very well with the black and white image, uh, Mr. Mime, uh, the new rabbit one, uh, Scorbunny, uh, the weird little corky one, which I can't remember the name of. Um, and yeah, so there's uh, five different machines to collect, or six, sorry, there's six. Uh, I can't see what the sixth one is, maybe it's a secret. So yeah, and you have some coins to put into it, and basically you can play it as a slot machine. So I got the yellow one, so I'm guessing this is Pikachu. <laughs> so let's just open it up. So we got some stickers to go onto the side so we can decorate it. So there's a Pikachu jackpot on there. <laughs> I'm just going to... Go on there so there we go so there's the stickers so there's the pikachu and there's the other stickers to go on the side and here we have the slot machine so it looks really cute so it'll look better once we have the stickers on you got the pull lever there on the side and let's see what we get so oh yay we got a pikachu jackpot <laughs> first time that was lucky let's try it again Oh, it doesn't seem to line up very well, but um, it'll probably go better once it's there. Oh, no, no luck. One more time. Pikachu jackpot! Yay! <laughs> so I'm just going to put it there. I'm going to decorate it later. I can't really be bothered to at the moment. And these are the coins you get to put in the slot machine. So I kind of like the nice nostalgic touch, because obviously in the old school Pokemon games, you used to go to the... Um, the casino and you used to play the slot machines to try and win prizes and I, I can't remember what the top prize was, was it a ditto or something it was for, it was one it was for a pokemon i remember that but this is going back years ago now so yeah it's kind of a nice decided touch they did a pokemon slot machine so that was our first gacha so let us keep diving i'm going to go for the one that was partially open so there's some characters i recognize there on the side i think this is Doraemon. so let's get this open Ooh, 
it looks like some sort of game. It looks like Pop Up Pirate. So, sorry, didn't mean to knock my camera. So, let's see what's on the pamphlet. So, yeah, it's a anime pop up pirate game. So, there's all the various characters. I haven't watched Doraemon. I've seen clips, um, but I only know these two characters at the front. So, obviously, sorry, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit there. So, there's Doraemon, the cat. That's the main character. And these are all his mates, and that's the uh, the girl cat there that Doraemon has a bit of a crush on, I think. So I'm just going to pop this together and see how this goes. Okay, so I've put the thing together. So yeah, basically it's like a little mini travel pop-up party game. And I had the uh, Doraemon version, so here's our little cute kitty cat. So basically he just sits in here, because there's like a little cross section in here. And uh, we have some little mini keys with bells on, if you can just see on my camera. And obviously you just put them into the slots and see where they fit. I don't know how they're meant to fit. They don't want to fit in particularly well at this time. But uh, <laughs> I'll probably play this later because otherwise I'm going to have pieces flying all over the place. But yeah, that's kind of cute. So if you want a travel game, uh, then you've got a Doraemon game to play around with. So that is quite funky. I'm glad I got the Doraemon, not on any random kid characters because I don't know the names of them. So anyway, let us carry on to our next one. I'm going to go for this gold one here. This looks quite interesting. Uh, oh. Okay, so I can see the picture straight away. And I've seen one of my YouTubers I follow actually build one of these yesterday. Uh, this is a um, a wind-up hamster wheel. So I'm glad to see which, uh, be glad to see which one I've got. And it looks like I've got a gold variant. So I wonder if I got the secret. So I'm going to open this up and put it together because it's in quite a few pieces. So bear with me, guys. Okay, guys, so it just took me a couple of minutes to build because it was a bit fiddly as it had quite a few parts. Uh, so this is by Takarotomi Arts. So this is the hamster wheel series. Uh, so there's a couple to collect. Uh, I got the gold hamster, so I think I got the secret variant. So uh, you can do it uh, various ways. So you can actually put the take the wheel off the um, the stand because you can just take the pin out in the middle and you can roll around in the wheel. You can put the hamster inside the gachapon ball it comes with which is a cool way to reuse the ball and it's a hamster ball which is unique and you can also try your skills at putting the wheel inside the gash pond with the hamster in it and i've seen someone try this and it just keeps falling out but i'm guessing i yeah, just need some skill so uh, i'm not quite sure what other colors there are so i think it's kind of like black and white hamsters like little tan peach hamsters and white so i got the gold one so i'm just going to show you how it works so obviously you have your wheel here and then we wind up whoa 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 hammy whoa so wind up the little ham ham and whoa whoa slimy and away he goes ah! <laughs> damn that's one speedy ham ham right try going in it there we go oh now he's out of energy <laughs> he's all pooped out already that, that one little span i gotta say the gold paint is actually quite nice and shimmery on this that's kind of cool, but yeah, I love that because I used to own hamsters when I was little, but unfortunately it just got a little bit too painful when they kept kept passing away of wet tail and my dad kind of gave up and it's like, we're sticking with cats and dogs. But ham hams are a really sweet little, little pet to have, but that is really cool. I love that. So yeah, as a hamster fan, that pleases me. Right, so we have three gachas left, so let us march on. So here's our next gacha. So it's clear and black so let's hope there's a, something cool in here i think i see some cars so hoping it's something cool because i'm not really a car person so oh my god <laughs> yeah i'm gonna have to pause again guys because this is a model kit that's tiny as heck so uh yeah <laughs> so let me just have a look at the pamphlet and we can see what we have so if it will open so it just says that this is the gtr series volume one from skyline isn't that a james bond movie or is that something else oh no that's skyfall isn't it so here's our car so i'm guessing that one at the top is whatever the car is and that is what the car looks like i'm not going to build this now guys because yeah i don't want to keep pausing and stopping but um basically we got that car there i think so uh <laughs> yeah i'm going to build this later and 
kill some time with it because it's just there's just so many parts there's actually a little cart hood there so that's kind of cool but it's got a scratch on it so that's a, oh no it's just some dirt on the bag there's our un, uh, undercarriage and there's the rest of the car and all the really really tiny pieces of wheels so uh once i finish this video i'll probably take some pictures and leave them at the end of the video so you can actually see what the car looks like because i haven't got the patience to build this right now i'm tired and i've got a bit of the sniffles i don't have corona i don't have corona i just feel very tired and run down at the moment so yeah i'll build that later i'm not a car person so eh, i might give it to someone right let's carry on so this is a clear gacha and i think i remember seeing this on instagram it's uh, a build your own scenery scene so i think there might be some clay or something in here and you can create something to go in the terrarium i think that's what i think they only gave us a rough idea of what it was but i know it's something of traditional japan so that's cool so let's get this tape open oh my God. right let's have a look okay so there's no clay in there it's literally just a scene and it looks like we have some japanese cherry blossoms and a festival so let's see what we have right come here so this would be cool to go like if you're doing like nendroid photography or if you have doll's houses or something it'd be kind of nice display i'm just going to check the rubbish down here so here's our little display it looks very rough and textured so it kind of looks like it's been handmade which is kind of cool so i'm not quite sure what it's meant to be i obviously i get those are cherry blossoms in the background but i'm not quite sure what the thing at the front's meant to be so it's different don't get me wrong i could put this in a in an android display but that's really really odd but i like it in a weird way i'm just going to pop that there and uh, refer to the pamphlet that's going to be in japanese but i'm not quite sure what it is so uh basically the little displays that you can collect and join together and uh they all match so there's all different themes so i'm guessing they're like all the seasons so i'm guessing that's autumn in the middle down there at the bottom so i'm trying to guess where my thumbs are by looking at the camera so and i'm guessing there's summer and spring so that's kind of unique and there's a lot of japanese text so i'm gonna have to use google translate for this so there's one of a boar and there's one of some leaves and a tree i think one of the moon over mountains uh then we have some japanese flowers i'm guessing they're autumn flowers then we have the cherry blossoms i'm guessing this is like some sort of festival like a tent or something i'm not sure and then we have one of a deer with some ma what looks like maple leaves so i'm guessing it's like poetry through the seasons so i have to refer to the pamphlet about that but i actually like it it's it's unique so this is what i like about gacha Creek. you get a load of different stuff right so i'm just gonna zoom out a minute so bear with me so let's see what our last gacha is so it's a nice red gacha that's like a clown's nose <laughs> so no tape that's good i like no tape on gachas okay but this one is hard to open let's pop them open <gasps> oh i see hello kitty <gasps> oh it's a keychain so that's cool and i think i recognize this character um i think this is from gundam unicorn i think this is the bad guy um with the weird helmet he gets referenced in anime an awful lot so excuse my uh, gundam knowledge i don't really watch gundam wing i used to watch the old school gundam wing when it was back on toonami in the early 90s that's the most gundam i've watched <laughs> um so there we go so there's hello kitty in a uniform with a really cool looking space helmet and visor so i actually like that i love hello kitty and i love it when they do their crossover i love the latest crossover they've done with um my hero academia there's so much merch i want and there's so much cute bags and accessories so let's check out the pamphlet so these are all the others we get so i've got that one there then there's one of her as like the various enemies side mechas which is kind of cool and then we have her in all the various uh pilot uniforms sorry if my camera's not focusing and then we have three of her as mechs so that's really cool i like that so there we go so bad guy bad guys good guys <laughs> i would have liked this mech one that one's really cool that's my favorite out of the set and i like the tank one this one here with the tracks so if i got any of them i would have liked the mech ones but i'm kind of glad i got this one 
this is really cool so yeah i love rubber keychain straps they're very nice so that will go on my shelf with the rest of my gacha collection so that is all the gachas we have so let's just quickly refer to the pamphlet so just to quickly review what we had so we had the uh, Hello Kitty X Gundam crossover. So two iconic characters collide for this gashapon. Gundam and Hello Kitty receive one of ten mashups. Would have been handy if they had the bios on the pamphlets so you know what the characters actually are. Uh, but I do roughly know who this character is, but I can't remember his name. <laughs> yeah, I know... I recognise the look, but I don't know the name. <laughs> That's what I mean. Uh, then second up, we have the hamster veal. Sorry, I say hamster veal. Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, if you watch the TV series, you'll get what I'm referencing. So I got the gold one, which is cool. Uh, so only in Japan will they gush upon make your child dreams come, childhood dreams come true for a pet hamster. With this gacha sized pal, accompanied with a rotating wheel, and receive one of five styles. I would have loved to know what the other styles are, but there's one of them, which is a white hamster in a pink wheel. Lucky to get gold, I guess. So that's kind of cool. Uh, then we had this weird thing, which I actually like, I still like it. It's called a Hanafuda display. Hanafuda are Japanese playing cards are used to play a number of games and translates to flower cards. These displays are just like cards, super ornate and the perfect addition to decorate your nightstand or desk. Receive one of six stars. Ah, okay. Still doesn't explain what it's meant to be of though. <laughs> but I like the cherry blossoms because I'm a big Sakura fan. So that's cool. Sorry, I've got my camera front me and i keep catching my arm on the on the um on the twisty thing <laughs> uh then we had the skyline series which is the weird car so uh assemble your dream nissan skyline gtr car with this doa gashapon so detailed the mini replica comes close to the real thing and receive one of six styles so i'm not a car person but if you are and you like the model then you want to have it you're welcome to buy it off me <laughs> uh yeah because I, I don't know cars i know mini coopers and i know volkswagen buses because they're my favorite and that's the closest i will describe uh next up we had the uh Draymon game so experience japanese luck based game with this gachapon featuring a toy barrel and take turns inserting the keys in the slots and receive one of six characters so that's cool because i love mini games um especially when it comes like to traveling and stuff in the car and that you get bored but yeah it's kind of fun to have and this is probably one of my favorites the uh pokemon casino so um as you can see i've uh, decorated it now with the stickers so it looks really cool so let me just uh, blow it up for you whoa so there's the stickers and there's the one at the bottom so lovely cute little pikachu so pika pika uh so pokemon casino forget vegas instead play the slots with pokemon and win big you'll get three of a kind and <laughs> when you get three of a kind and receive one of five character slot machines so that's really neat uh yeah the gundam kitty uh keychain and the pokemon are my fave third would be the hamster veal uh fourth would be the hanafuda and then it would be the Doraemon, and then the car would probably be my least favourite. But hey ho, that's the luck of the Gashapon. You, it can't all be girly. It's going to be some guy stuff in there at some point. Uh, then we just have a breakdown of the Doraemon series. So there's all the characters. So we've got Doraemon, uh, Nobuta, Dorami, Shizuka, uh, Takashi, and Sunano. Uh, I did watch the, um, the reboot series, and they did have it on UK TV for a week. That was it. They had it on for a week and then they took it off because it wasn't doing well rating wise, which was a shame because it was a very well animated anime. So that's a shame. Uh, then we have this uh, month's. I can't talk. I need a drink. <laughs> then we have the po Pokemon. <laughs> I got Pokemon in the brain. We have the Gachapon picture contest so every month uh just take random pictures of your gachapon that you got in the crate and the best picture wins and you can get uh, a set of gachapon and um, to you to win so that's really cool so i might have to do that uh not quite sure what i'm gonna do with this because um 
they're very very different you can have the hamster on top of the racing car trying to get to the slot machine whilst Hello Kitty's playing pop-up pirate with Doraemon. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, so that was everything for this month's spot, guys. What was your favourite and what one would you have liked that I didn't get? I'd be interested to know. So uh, I'm due my Yumi Twins box very, very soon, guys. So if you're waiting on that, and fingers crossed, I'll have my next Gacha Crate soon. So until next time, my nerds, I'm going to say sayonara. Stay nerdy, stay happy, and keep collecting, my guys. Bye.